Hey everybody, it's Mike Drudge coming to you from Vaud RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. 2023 Eagle right behind me. This guy has three features that are three of the most popular things folks often look for. Bunks, outside kitchen, and a separate actual bunk room, okay? So this doesn't just have bunks, it's got a separate bunk room. So I'm excited to show this off to you. We did a video on this last year and it was incredibly popular and the unit lasted about a week. This is a 2023 version of this. It weighs almost 10,000 pounds, a little over 38 feet. So this is a big bumper pull, one of the biggest bumper pulls in the Jayco line of travel trailers. Starting up front here, we've got our LED light strips on the nice molded front cap, lights here and lights here. Now all the Eagles, we'll have a generator tray back here. So if you want to add a generator, this is where it would go. It's prepped for the generator with the wiring back here. And then your house batteries will go up here on this side of it. So if you don't put a generator up here, you've got extra room for storage for other stuff. Twin propane bottles that switch over automatically. Now you'll notice something missing here. There's no tongue jack because this has auto leveling. So we've got improved landing gear up here in the front, which is going to lift and lower, uh, raise and lower the front of the coach when you're hooking and unhooking, unhooking and of course uh, leveling. So we're in a fiberglass uh, exterior, of course. One thing that's unique to Jayco is that they vacuum bond the fiberglass walls. So it really diminishes the possibility of this fiberglass sandwich becoming delaminated over the course of time. 144 tons of pressure for 16 minutes on this entire fiberglass wall assembly. Now this guy's outfitted with side cameras and rear cameras. So eliminates blind spots entirely when you're going down the road, especially with those side cameras. Now you can see our pass-through storage comes all the way through. We have motion sensor lights in here. And up there on the left is your inverter. So you have a pure sine wave inverter. So we have inverted power inside for the TV, for the outlets next to the bed. So even with this thing off, not even hooked up to a truck, not even plugged into shore power, you still have household current at various locations inside the coach. Everything's nicely labeled in our utility compartment here. Have a hot and cold spray port here. Again, takes all the guesswork on how to hook up things. Just follow the guide here, super easy to follow. Right here we have a six gallon direct spark ignition water heater. If you wanted to upgrade this to a tankless water heater, in most cases we can do that. But right here, this guy runs off propane or electric. Detachable 50 amp power cord and a furnace. Right here's your furnace assembly too. Have access to the backside of the refrigerator right here. So if you needed to get in there, you can do that from here. And it's also of course a vent. Now sneaking around to the back side of the coach, you'll see our camera up there. So I've got a rear camera, backup camera, as well as our side cameras. And down here I do have a hitch. So this has got a 300 pound weight rating. Uh, it's not designed for towing. This is really just designed for like a cargo carrying type thing. Put your big green egg, extra lawn chairs, a bike rack, that kind of thing is what that's designed for. Now over here, we do have an outdoor kitchen. Open this up. Ooh, that's bright. Okay. This acts as the cover for your outdoor kitchen because we're Right here is the edge of the awning. As you can see, I couldn't run it all the way out because of the unit next to us. But this is a great outdoor kitchen. Um, a very nicely sized refrigerator right here. So you can have your drinks and other prep items right out here next to the cooking area. You've got a utility drawer, two utility drawers actually. Sink, uh, plumb to your holding tank. I have a coax cable here so I can put a television up here, household current and USB current up here, and we've got lights in here as well, and some nice storage up there. Speaking of cooking, this is a J-port. This is where your griddle will go. So you got griddle, drawers, sink, refrigerator, and the all-important bottle opener right there. 
So a nice little outdoor kitchen uh, situation here. This is, as we know, the fun side of the trailer. So this is where all the fun stuff happens. That awning keeps coming out. So you've got a nice amount of covered space on the patio side here. Before we go inside, JBL speakers, JBL sound system everywhere. So JBL speakers on the inside, out here, um, in the ceiling inside, and of course a JBL stereo itself, which is a really good quality. Now you'll notice something new in 2023, that camera above the door. All the 2023 Eagles are going to come camera prepped. This one we ordered with the camera package. Used to be you couldn't use your cameras here and in the back for security because they weren't receiving power when you're parked at an RV park. They only were powered when you're going down the road and the lights are on. Now I have a switch in there to turn on the power to all those lighting locations, or in this case camera locations. So now we can see 360 all the way around the unit, back, sides, entry door right here. So that's pretty cool. And before we go in, I guess I started here. We didn't, I didn't show off this side of the uh, pass-through storage. So there's a little table rack right here. So if you want to put an outdoor folding table, you can slide it right up in here and not take up space down here on the bottom. This is your uh, griddle platform, your griddle table right there. Uh, and then of course that inverter, which I pointed out a little bit ago. A lot of condensation here today. It's hot and humid in Texas. So uh, again, we're looking at the 312 BHOK. Hey, when you're out here shopping, this is something I failed to point out. Take your phone and scan that right there. That's gonna open up the specs and everything for the, the specific unit you're looking at. Here's a little shopping tip. When you're shopping for these things, especially when you're getting started, they all start to run together after a while. Trust me. You get home and it's like, which model was that that we liked and where did we go? So you can always do it the old fashioned way. I'm old fashioned, I still take notes with a pen and a paper, but these are pretty cool gadgets too. Just scan that or at the very least take a picture of it. But if you scan that and then save it to your phone, you get home, you'll have all that information handy. Real quickly before I go in, I'll point out these really cool steps. These are Moride step above steps. They fold in for travel just like this. To deploy them, you simply pull it down. It's got sort of a gravity assist and each one of these legs is fully adjustable if you're on uneven ground. Okay, let's go inside and have a look. So now we're on the inside of this 312 BHOK. Remember a couple really huge items that many folks look for. Outside kitchen, already pointed that out to you, and bunkhouse. In this case, not just a bunkhouse with bunks, but a bunk room. So I have a separate bunk room here, separate bedroom up front for mom and dad. I got lots of room for the critters to sleep in here. Lots of living space. Sometimes when you get a separate bunk room, you sacrifice some living space in the middle part of the coach. Not so here. And why is that, you ask? Because we have opposing slides. Anytime you have opposing slides, you get this. I'm waving my arms and I'm not hitting either side. So opposing slides really open it up. Sometimes you'll get a unit that'll have a bunk room in the back and one slide and it's not bad but now that we have opposing slides up here it really opens it up nicely so why don't we just start out in the galley right in the heart of the coach here um, where all the good cooking happens the appliance package is going to be similar to what you've seen in the past except a bigger microwave than before really nice size microwave it's vented to the outside and lighted three burner cooktop here Fold this back for your backsplash. Comes out for easy cleaning. And back here is a knife rack. So you can stick knives in there. I should have some knives sometime to show this off, but a safe place to stow your knives. Uh, we have backlit controls here on our range and oven. And then below that, some additional storage. Um, this is for your microwave, of course. I have a strainer and a teak cutting board for the sink cover here. Jayco uh, does a nice job of utilizing every little bit of storage and you can't have too much. So I've got storage there and I've got to the right of the cooktop here, nice little cubbies here for um, groceries and spices and, and so on. 
Now, uh, in this island, it's a tall, high-rise, black matte faucet, double basin, stainless steel sink, and quite a bit of storage over here. Notice it's full extension drawer glides. They're ball bearing drawer glides always on Jayco. Something else always with Jayco. The drawer fronts and the cabinet door fronts are always solid maple on every trim line of a Jayco. They're not particle board with tape on them to make them look like real wood. These are real solid maple. I can appreciate that. Now we have a 12 volt refrigerator here. By now you know I'm a fan of these, mostly because they're much larger than a traditional RV fridge. And it's a compressor fridge, so this gets cool, starts freezing really fast once you turn it on. You don't have to wait overnight like you do a traditional RV fridge. Yes, you can boondock with these. You just need to be more cognizant of your battery charge status on a 12 volt fridge. Happy to chat with you more about that if you want to give us a call. Now one thing I like about this uh, floor plan also is that I have two areas that are sort of like coffee bars. I have one here and then I have one down at the other end of the galley living area. You can put a coffee pot in there uh, and, and, and here. A lot of people say, well, where's the outlet? I have an outlet here and USB up here so it keeps it off the wall, it keeps it nice and clean. And we have some more storage right here as well. Smoked glass insert in all of the cabinets on this modern farmhouse trim line. So this is modern farmhouse. This has proven to be uh, one, the most popular option among all the Jayco decor options is this modern farmhouse that's lighter. It adds an airy feel to it. I'm just gonna go around the horn here a little bit to the dinette and the sofa. This is cool. Notice there's nothing under here to knock my knees sitting here. There's no bars going down. And you say, well, how do you make this into a bed? Great question. Lift this up at an angle and push down. And of course we would take our cushions and spread them out for this to become a bed. There's little teeth in here that you line up. You don't even have to line them up. It'll do it itself. Just come up here and hit this at an angle, just like that, and that's all there is to it. So real easy to convert that into a bed if you want to. There is storage under here. I'm also glad that they got rid of the metal handles here, which all they did was serve to knock your ankle or whatever when you walk by. Now you can just grab behind there and open that up. I'll call that an improvement. Trifold sofa, so boom, 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 this opens up into a sofa. So if you're really loaded up with all the kids and their cousins and their friends, we can sleep how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If everybody gets along pretty good, so you can sleep a lot of a lot of folks in here. Another change in 23 is, is more USB ports, well, really everywhere. I've got them here, I've got them in the kitchen, got them in the bedroom, got them in the bunkhouse. Lots of USB ports. More storage up, more storage down. And again, just like on the other end, I've got household current and USB power right above this area. All right, uh, before we leave this area, point out the TV now. The TVs are all smart TVs starting in 2023. No more dumb TVs allowed here at Jayco. All smart TVs uh, in the living room area of Eagles. So still insignia brand. Uh, again, JBL stereo and JBL speakers. And we have a fireplace here. So this is an electric fireplace. Really does a great job of knocking the chill off this coach. It's a space heater. It's a fancy space heater. And then I like this. Thank you, Jayco, for pre-wiring an HDMI cable already up here wired into the TV so I don't have to fish it through there on my own because that's what most people would do. So thank you, Jayco. Now, moving into the bunk room, this is fun. So flexible, there's different ways you can use this area. I have a trifold sofa there. I have a bunk up here, which is 74 inches, so I could sleep up there get this out of the way just by popping it up like that. Um, now if you wanted to make this go away and toss this in your garage, 
Take out some screws, lift this whole thing out, and this wouldn't even have to be here. Just saying that is an option if you wanted to do that. This is a trifold sofa here, and then I have a bunk up top here as well. Lots of storage here, four drawers, two cabinet doors, and I have a ladder right here, and there's even little cubbies right in here for shoes and so on. Now, Jayco defines weight capacities by width of the bed. So they're calling this a single. They're calling that a single. A lot of people will look at this and say, oh, it's 300 up and 600 down. No, it's 300 for a single, it's 600 double. 300 pounds here, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay. So nice little bunk room, uh, privacy for the kids. They can come back here and get rowdy while mom and dad chill out out here. Maybe, if you're lucky. Okay, have we covered this area pretty good? We're in, we have whisper quiet. So instead of the loud blaring AC unit, this is fully ducted. I'm standing right under this duct. Bet you can hardly hear it. So it's on high right now, pushing cool air out. It's really, really quiet. Now, before I leave this area, I'll just point out, this is an Android tablet, and this is kind of the brains of the coach. I have shortcuts for lights right here, so interior lights, exterior. Now, each one of these will open up a different tab. In this case, all of our tank levels, the little gear are your motors, so your slides, awnings, landing legs, and so on. See? little temperature is your main AC and your second AC and then your lighting and this is cool because you can dim the lights by just dragging this to the right or the left and then finally you can do all this from your phone just put this BM Pro app on your phone and you can do all these things from your phone just noticing it's a hundred and four degrees outside right now <laughs> so and how does it know that so you'll notice at different places around I'll spot one here in a minute there's little uh, gadgets called thermistors and there's one out on the patio and that's sending temperature information on the inside of the coach here. I just got hotter now that I know it's 104 outside. <laughs> so Now in this bathroom I have a backlit medicine cabinet in the proving to be ever so popular navy blue color in here which contrasts nicely. This was so popular they held it over to 2023. Nice little undermount sink up here. I do have power there for hair dryers for people that use those kinds of gadgets. And our switch is over here on the side. Now, what's behind this door? This is kind of cool. I'll, we can open up the door on the other side, but if you want to put a washer and dryer, you can put a washer and dryer in here, a combo unit. If not, you're gonna have that much more storage for stuff, but you can put a washer and dryer in this floor plan. This is a porcelain foot flush toilet. The one piece shower surround in here. This is a change in 2023 as a much larger shower head. Nice skylight. I'm six feet tall so I'm six feet tall right here and still have a couple inches and even more so here for tall folks. We have a glass shower enclosure. Here's a little tip. Do yourself a favor and come up with a checklist before you leave every trip and before you break campsite. One of those items on the checklist in this trailer ought to be make sure you've secured this glass shower door before taking off because if you don't, it's going to be going, slamming back and forth like this going down the road and when you get to where you're going, you might have a rude awakening when you get there. That's what this little guy is for right here. Make sure that's down, that way it can't go anywhere. That's a pretty good tip, Brian. <laughs> okay, now what do we have here? We have a king bed. So let me point out the advantages of a king bed in a unit like this without a slide. The advantages are it's a king bed. It's huge. It's a king bed just like home. There you go. What's the disadvantages? It's a king bed in a little room. I have precious little room to get over here. Now. All I plan on doing in here is really sleeping, all right? And if it's, if it's important for comfort for you to have a king bed, by all means, get it. I'm an average size guy and I can just get, get by here. Um, it's still a little tricky to make the bed, but again, we have a king bed at home and I wouldn't mind having a king bed on the road. And if so, boom, you got it. 
just pointing out some things to think about. A lot of folks come in here and I gotta have a king bed. And if you do, boom, we have it. Just be aware that there's always a trade-off. Every decision you make and every option is a trade-off. And in this case, you don't have as quite as much room to maneuver around. Have room for clothes storage with a closet rod there, storage up top, and the same on the other side. Now I do have switches here for your lights and those outlets up there on the wall are inverted. So that's inverted power, even if your truck's off like I was talking about earlier. Now if you want to add that washer and dryer, these shelves would come out and your washer and dryer would get installed here. Got two drawers below. Now I mentioned the security camera outside earlier, and here's the switch. When you pop this guy on, that throws power to all those lighting locations, i.e. security cam lo locations, so you can bring that camera monitor in here and set it on the nightstand or the table up there, wherever you like, and keep an eye on the goings-on around the whole unit. So that's pretty neat. I'm glad they did that. And this is one of those thermistors that I was telling you about. So this is sampling the air temperature in the bedroom. There's one in the living room, one outside. If you want to add a TV, you can do it right here. And you've got your, your hookups and everything right up here. Now I have two AC units on this. It's a 50 amp coach. So we have a main AC and a separate AC just uh, serving the bedroom there. So you can keep it very comfortable in this unit. So hey, we're in a 312 BHOK, bunk house outside kitchen. In most cases, Jayco's pretty intuitive about their naming conventions and looking at the letters, BH is pretty much always gonna mean bunkhouse, OK means outside kitchen. But don't mistake the first two numbers in thinking that that's the length of the trailer you're looking at. And this is really pretty much universal across all brands. This is a 312 BHOK. Don't think for a minute that this is 31 feet long or 38 plus feet long. All the manufacturers tend to put a smaller number on the model than the actual length of it. Uh, suppose there's some psychology to it. I don't know. I just talk about them and review them. I don't build them. Good question for Jayco. Hey, let me know what you think about this floor plan. I'm really curious. As always, I like reading your comments and we try to do a good job at responding to questions and comments if you as you have them. So if you have a minute, drop down below, click like and subscribe. That way you'll be the first to know when we post more videos just like this. My name is Mike. I appreciate you joining me and I'll see you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.